crucial game for both sides, particularly for St Kilda, if they were to have any hope of clawing their way back into the five. And it was helter-skelter, particularly in the first half. There were some 20 goals scored, and then Richmond still trailed at the final change. The Saints lead 14-11, 95. Richmond, 13-15-93, so only two points the margin. Let's now go to the MCG with some 23 minutes remaining, and there's been no addition to the score. Honeybun taps it down. Here's Mitchell. Dean Rice, cleverly, over to Nathan Burke, and the Saints get out of trouble with the kick to the centre of the ground. Oh, kicked off the ground by Goodwin. Chance for Richmond through Justin Pickering. Frawley. Gets it further field to Simpson again, but a good mark is taken by James. And right in the centre square. Winmar now on the mark. Had a good game. 17 possessions. And he's normally a very good kick. That one's a floater. Gets some distance. It's going to be a hard ball to mark. Jeffrey, who maintained his concentration. Not an easy one in the front of a pack. And took a comfortable mark. Just having some trouble with his boot there. He's lost it for the moment. Doesn't stop him from kicking the drop pump back to the centre. Coglin, Lambert against him. Devonport, outnumbered. And Peter Cameron will have it. So Jeffrey about to replace his boot at centre half back. The Saints by two points. Lead has changed hands nine times in this game. Oh, great play by Lee. Gave Waitman a chance. Justin Pickering run down by Devonport. The tackling from both sides has been outstanding. Daniels, clever kick. Gives Rice a chance. This is an important ball to be won. Rice with him, Gale, gets around him. He's got Bowie in the centre if he wants him. And he's got Harvey. Goes to Harvey. They can set it up. He should attack the goal front here. He's been a bit slow. Very slow. And a very poor effort by Harvey. Lambert to Lee. And will the Tigers make him pay for it? Nichols takes a sweeping handball and kicks it to Honeybun on a long lead. A little indirect in the end. Honeybun keeps it in. Kicks it back towards the goal square. Daniels tackle from behind by Young. And they've got a free kick. It's got to go back to Daniels. But Harvey, what got into him? Yes, I think he was hoping someone would lead. And, uh, well, he couldn't see an option. And he panicked a little bit and did the wrong thing. Here's a chance for Stephen Ryan. A clever hand pass over to James. James hooks it back towards half forward. Michael Pickering overruns it. Here's a chance for Barry Young. Under the dangerous Mitchell. Mitchell sprints into an open goal. Bang! He doesn't miss them from there, Michael Mitchell. And the Tigers hit the front. 14-15 Richmond. St Kilda 14-11. Four points the margin. Well, that was excellent play, that by R Richmond. Mitchell with his great pace he's been an outstanding player today he's kicked three he's tackled hard and he doesn't miss them from in front a very very deliberate kick and it was good play by stephen james to hook that back in front of goal to put the pressure on that st kilda defense plenty of time though for the saints they only trail by four points 14 15 to 14 11. so the tigers in front again coglin besieged upon mitchell with magnificent skills Wonderful ball effort there by Mitchell. Ryan, left foot, he's kicked four today. Honeybun at the back, Laurie at the front. Man for man, Laurie will punch it through. Came off his head, in fact, in the end. And it went over for a behind. So a five-point margin, 14-16. They're up to 100, the Tigers. 14-11, the Saints. Remembering St Kilda hovering on the five. And Richmond, who just six or seven weeks ago was seen as wooden spooners have turned it around. The kick by Laurie. Jeffrey in the front spot. Kitschke over the top of Lambert. No free kick. Tiger fans wanted it. Uh, ball up at centre half forward. Well, Craig Lambert started off fairly slowly in the first quarter, but since then he's really put in. He's done a lot of heavy work. Six kicks and eight handballs, and a lot of those have been hard uh, one kicks and possessions. So good effort by Lambert. Now here's Danny Frawley against Mitchell, who will get the loose ball. Good play by Frawley. Oh, top play over to Bowie. Bowie straight down the centre of the ground. Low. Oh, strength by low. The Winmar has gone out of the game a bit. Back it comes to Low. He lays on a hand pass to Coglin, but look at the tackle by Matthew Knights. Richmond's. Oh, no. Well, they're a bit unlucky there. That was a magnificent tackle, unless the umpire gave it against Goodwin. 
which I think he might have. 11 kicks and nine handballs to Frank Coughlin. He's been one of St Kilda's better players. He'll kick from 55. Oh, beautiful drop punt too. Low at the back. Here's Danger. Oh, he is too big. Too strong. And... Oh, he's very casual, but he's popped it through for a goal. And St Kilda hit the front. Five goals to low. Ten, ten times in this game, and there's just a point the difference. It's been a wonderful contest. Kitschke missed it. Harvey to Winmar. Can he give us some magic in the last quarter? They tackle him. James Court. Winmar after it again. Find some space. Sweeping handball. Coglin's got to have to win it. Will it sit? It doesn't quite, and the Tigers were able to patch it up a bit at the back, but the tackle on Bennick now is strong. Coglin's got him. No free kick again. Throw in good umpiring. Let it go. And good effort by young Anthony Bennick. <laughs> he ran into a brick wall, but he kept his cool, and in the crisis there, he still got in that handball. Just 17 years of age. What a great future. He's got to point the difference. Lee against Lowe. Lowe has been fantastic. Down the ground, Waitman against Harvey. A fairly quiet day by Robert Harvey's standards. Well, he's had seven kicks and eight handballs, but uh, at this stage of the game, he's normally had a lot more than that. Mark Lee played a terrific second quarter. It's at half forward. It's still in play. The only boundary up by says as Harvey grabs it, kicks it up in front of goal. For the Saints, Lowe was in now. Is that a mark to McNichol? The umpire's going to pay it. So I don't know. I don't know whether... I don't know whether he actually took that one. Gee, I thought Lowe had some hands on it, and I think Richmond hands might have been there too. Yes, yeah, so it was an iffy one, but it's been paid. Now he's marking. He's marking a spot similar to what Stuart Lowe does and then he goes back 10 metres from that spot and runs in a direct line to the mark on the ground just to make sure that he's running in a straight line at the goals the Irish recruit Dermot McNichol formerly of the Paran club in the VFA a vital kick this to kill the lead by a point as he comes in and kicks it goal he's hooked it across his body and just sneaks it in for a point so the Saints lead by two points just over 16 minutes left in a top game of football this terrific game Peter McNichol started the match with a heavy bandage on his right thigh he's got rid of that kick out to Mitchell who has been quite brilliant today 13 kicks and four handballs to centre wing Frawley at the back of Gale Devonport and Justin Pickering Justin Pickering couldn't quite keep it in play and it'll be a ball in. Throw in, half forward, and centre wing, just between those two points. Eight kicks, six handballs for Justin Pickering. And 100 to 102. Plenty of time remaining. Which team will get the break? Such an important game for both clubs. Really, the 1990 season hangs in the balance for the two of them. Jeffrey, it's been one of those days. Trying to get a quick kick away, Pickering. Lambert, who, as Peter McKenna said, has done a lot of the hard work today. Knights threw it out and was caught. Peter Cameron was in a brilliant position for that. And I think even Matthew Knights will admit uh, that it was an indiscretion. So it'll go to Kitschke at half-back. Paul Harding off the ground for the Saints. He got hurt in the third quarter. Damien Kitschke's got the big man role. As far as the ruck work goes, that could have been a free kick to Lee. Umpire paying the advantage to Waitman. That was good umpiring. The short chip pass to Stephen Ryan as he lines up for his fifth. The long kick by Ryan, just to the left, has missed. So the margin now is one point in favour of the Saints. So a bad miss, that one. As Grant Laurie prepares to bring it back into play. And Richmond's kicked three eights since half-time, so will they pay for their inaccuracy? Quick kick by Russo after Kitschke gave it to him. Harvey missed it. Knights with a left footer. Honeybun. Not this time. Nichols. Still Nichols. Still with Nichols. Laurie did well there. Now Lambert. Mitchell. Left foot. Right to the goal square. And an excellent mark taken by Ryan. 
Well, he's kicked four, and what an exciting prospect he is. 13 kicks, 10 marks, 10 handballs. He must be high in the best players on the ground. And with a point the difference, Stephen Ryan has a chance to put the Tigers in front. The lead's changed hands 10 times today. Drop punt, misses it. Scores a level. Gee, we've seen some sitters miss today. We've seen Honeybun miss a couple of sitters. Stephen Ryan then. Stuart Rose missed about three from uh, 20 metres out. Ryan's kicked four goals, three. So these could be costly, some of these kicks. Grant Laurie is a great kick to the half-back line. Gale was the flyer, couldn't take it. That was Simpson. Now Trent Nichols, he's been excellent. Waitman, a very slick hand pass to Brendan Gale. The short one is on. Good play by young Gale. He's found Michael Pickering, who has was hovering around there, the half-forward line, and a little chip pass across. And a quiet day by Michael's standards. Four kicks and six handballs. It'll be a long time since he's... Only had that many possessions, but most importantly, with the scores level, a chance for the Tigers to go a goal in front. Took the great goal against Footscray from the boundary line last week. Let's see. Oh, that's a poor kick. Never looked like it. And missed to the left, but they've hit the front by a point, the Tigers. 14-19, 103, Richmond. Secure to 15, 12, 102. Well, it could be chronic, this inaccuracy. Three goals, ten in the second half, Richmond. After kicking 11-9 until half-time. And you just get the feeling that they should be two or three in front. Yet they're just a point in front. The kick straight down the centre. Kitschke, Harvey couldn't take it. Lee. Richmond just on top at the moment, but they're not putting it on the scoreboard. Ryan. Strong kick to full forward. Devonport, Honeybun. Well, the big man was able to come across in front of Devonport and in front of Laurie and take an important mark. He's very strong overhead, Honeybun. Well, As he's missed one, two maybe that he should have kicked today, Peter, but uh, surely he can drill this through from 15 metres out. I think he tense, seems to tense up a bit. He takes a long, long time to take his kick for goal. You watch here, he lines up and he's probably thinking a little bit like golf when you stand over a golf ball and you take too long. Well, he fiddles with it. Make He's sure not relaxed, is he? No, make sure the socks are okay. Bends right over. Crouches, steadies, goes in, kicks it high, and puts it through for goal. And does he like it? 15 19 to 15 12. And the Tigers by seven points. Well, again, Stephen Ryan was in the action there as he came. It was kicked away by Lee. It was great play by Lee. A quick kick under pressure. And then Ryan chased it out to the half-forward flank. And then instead of having a ping at goal, he hooked it back. He knew Honey Bunham was there. And too big for Grant Laurie, as you can see, to take that strong mark. Seven points the margin. Who'll get it out of the centre? Grabbed by Lee. Played well today, Mark Lee, towards half foot. Oh, the bounce favours Waitman. Here's danger for St Kilda. On to Nichols. Nichols has been outstanding. He's nearly, nearly brought the ground. He's got a loose man out wide and he's found him. It's Brendan Bauer making space on that half forward line. Lovely play by Trent Nichols to hit him on the chest. Well, are we going to see the vital break coming now? They lead by seven points. Richmond. And Brendan Bauer has had the job all day on Nicky Winmar and has done a pretty good job too. A chance from 45 metres directly in front. Chance to make it 13 points the margin. Brendan Bauer kicks right through that ball. It's floating. I think he's kicked it. Yes, he has. The Richmond supporters roar with delight. 16-19-115, the Tigers, St Kilda 15-12-102. 15-12, points and the chant around the MCG for the Tigers, just like the good old days. Lee with a tap. Well, do the Saints have it in them now to come back? They must realise that this is an important match for them. If they're to stay in touch with the final five, they've got to find something now and find it quickly. Ten minutes remaining, 
There's time left, but they've got to kick three goals. It won't be easy. Kitschke and Lee. Lee's been great today. Pekin, quick kick to centre half forward. Low in the front spot. He's been strong all day. Bannock high tackle, must get a free kick, and he does. He is going to be an outstanding player, Anthony Bannock. And uh, not necessarily as a halfback flanker. He might end up as a ruck rover. He's got that much talent. So is this man, Matthew Knights. Look at the class. As Knights goes to the half forward line, Lee battling hard and punches it over. Great play, Mark Lee. Tim Powell from the 50 metre line. Honey Bun up in front. Laurie shoves him out of the way and the ball floats through for a behind. But good play, Mark Lee. 16 20. That's 36 scoring shots. Richmond secured a 15 12. So they really do deserve to win. There's Laurie as he picks out Dean Rice at half back. Centre wing, Gale in the front spot. Frawley at the back. Bowie caught by Knights. Mitchell with pace. Free kick to Bowie. Bit ticky touch with oh, that one. Was it ever? Bowie quickly gets it on. Coglin's there. No, Pekin, I should say. McNichol. And it'll be a throw in just in St Kilda's attacking zone. Dermot McNichol with four kicks and one handball. Well, the potential's there, a lot of raw talent, but it's just going to take oh, some time. He's got a little way to go yet, I think. Yes, he has. Low and Lee. Low with a tap at the back. Russo fell over. Knights, Goodwin tries to barge <laughs> his way through. Umpire letting it go. And finally, Mike Ball says, I'll have it. I'd like to have him in the front row of a, of a rugby side, uh, Andy Goodwin. He'll be a handy man. Yes, he looks awkward at times, but he's pretty effective. He's had his hands full today with Lowe. Yeah, well, Lowe's been really a bit of a lone hand up there. He's played a great game, Stuart Lowe. Lambert and Lee combining. Dean Rice, a long hand pass to the pocket. And Richmond desperate. Good play, Andy Goodwin. And it'll be a throw in at the 50 metre line. 16 20 plays 15 12. Handy break, 14 points. Not many, uh, not many kicks, Andy Goodwin. There's Frank Coglin. When can't help thinking when Coglin was really firing in the centre of the ground, that's when St Kilda Bruce were doing particularly well. But they've taken him out of it a little bit in this quarter. And I think it's Lambert's the man that seems to be uh, playing very close to him, as you can see on screen. Low and Lee, two of the best players on the ground. Harvey, he's besieged. And this has been Richmond's tactics all day. Their tackling's been wonderful. Mitchell, that was clever. He trapped that like a genius. It was not an easy ball. Kicks it into the centre. Gale, very well done. Bauer, they can set it up. Honeybun on a long lead. Bad bounce for him. Saints with a chance, have got the numbers. Devonport. Long handball to McNichol. McNichol gives it up quickly. Laurie, who's usually a good kick, and he puts it down the throat of Pekin, who should play on, and he does. He's got to attack the goals, and with a long one. Low, is he good enough? This time, Lee, and Mark Lee's having a day out. It's just great to see this former champion in such form. Yes, Mark Lee has really uh, worked hard. So has this man, Barry Young. He's played an excellent game. Gee, they've had some good players. Richmond, Young will have a bounce touch of class about this player too as he runs to centre wing and kicks long to the half forward line, Waitman out in front and good play by Nathan Burke to punch it over the line but he's given away a free kick to Waitman a little chip pass, here's danger, what can Mitchell do, he'll do something sensational you can bet on that, no he doesn't and normally back him in in that situation but uh, I thought he might have done one of those little clever handballs and then chased it on there. 14 kicks and four handballs. But he's tackled hard and he's chased. And brilliant to watch Michael Mitchell. There's Gale doing the ruck work. Devonport to Frawley. On to Harvey. He's been fairly quiet. He's gone wide to Dermot McNichol, the Irishman. He's marked it. Now, McNichol inside. Has a bounce. And a hand pass over the top to Winmar, who's gone out of the game. Look at the tackling. And the umpire said that that tackle was in the back against Trent Nichols. But those Richmond little men, Bruce, they tackle so ferociously. They're keen and they refuse to let a player get an easy kick. Winmar to full forward, punched away by Lee. Harvey, who's been a little indecisive at times in the last quarter, gets a free kick. High tackle, it was there. So 10th kick for Harvey, named in the Victorian side this week. Go short. And Bowie... Now, he's only a little fellow, but he can kick a footy. And he's got half a chance here. And they're not out of it. And St Kilda, 
He's 55 metres out. It'll take a terrific kick, but he is a nice kick. Drop punt. It's strong. It's to the square. Lowe's there. Punched away by Goodwin. Young, who's one of the best men on the ground. He'll take Russo on. Two bounces. And that's rebound footy to centre wing. Mitchell with Devonport. Gale, who I think's been very good. Devonport, tackled by Mitchell. Rice taps it back. Lambert takes it from Burke. And just for the moment, the force is with Richmond. And Lambert gets a free kick at centre wing. Well, and Lambert has earned every kick he's had today and uh, possession. He's had 16 possessions, but everyone's he's got the hard ball every time. Great effort, Craig Lambert. Stephen Ryan, one of the best men on the ground, on the left foot, very highly skilled. Up towards Honey Bun and Gale, it hits the deck, here's danger because Little Waitman's got it. He's trying to get around and get in a hand pass, he does. Matthew Knight's cool as a cucumber, pops it through, and I think that'll be the winning goal to the Tigers. 20 to 15, 12, 23 of the 32 goals have been scored at the big scoreboard end. And that's where Richmond is going right now. Well, the Saints, with four minutes remaining, have got to pull out something very special here. The Tigers have been right on top in this final term. It's been a great game all day, but has Richmond made the substantial break? You'd back them from here. Nixon goes wide, just hoping. Not much there for St Kilda. Free kick, though, to Richmond. Against, uh, against McNichol going to Bannock. Advantage played on. Young, who's been terrific. And another good kick to James. On his wrong side, but he just chips one too far this time. Daniels takes it. He should have kicked it long end of the square. Yes, they've had an opportunity. Honeybun one out. Nixon. Now he can sweep this out wide. He's got Pekin lurking out wide, and he's going to go that way now with a long handball. Pekin's got it. Who's going to support him? Just a little one. Bad kick, and Bannock chips in, and surely the Saints have spent their chips now. Well, he'd nearly be the recruiter of the year, Anthony Bannock. On to Justin Pickering, to Waitman. Waitman's played a top game too. That little win, they've got a great mosquito feet. Look at that. 12 kicks and 12 handballs, and uh, very rarely does he waste a ball. Dale Waitman. Over the back, it's Kitsky. Out of defence. Finds Coglin and, and uh, Lambert has taken Coglin out of the game in this quarter. Good effort by Craig Lambert. The hand pass was wide to Devonport. He's coming through the centre. He's looking for the hand pass further afield. He finds it to McNichol. McNichol up to Lowe. Oh, it's another mark. And he has been terrific, Stuart Lowe. As he was ridden to the ground, he's kicked four, missed some sitters, but look at that. That's 12 marks. Huge hands. He's kicked five goals, in fact, not four. And going for goal number six. And with Tony Lockett out, he set a fine example down on the forward line, Lowe. Concentrating hard. Directly in front, just a little stab at the ball, and he floats it through for a very easy goal. And uh, maybe there's time for the Saints to come back. 17 20, Richmond, St Kilda 16 12. Well, it was an awkward ball from McNichol. McNichol's uh, float and drop punt didn't really spin over in classical style, but Lowe with his strong hands able to take the mark and go back and kick goal number six to give the Saints the slimmest of hopes. 14 points of difference. 122 to 108. Coglin. Lee, who's been terrific all day. Gale. Caught. Play on called like it should have been. And again, it'll be a ball up. Umpiring's been very good today. And so is the football. 122, 17 20 Richmond to 108, 16 12 St Kilda. Well, the bounce just off uh, the centre circle by Peter Cameron. Now. Richmond now a chance for the Saints through Jeffrey to go forward they want two couple of quick goals but it's taken away by Andy Goodwin he's had his work cut out today on low but he's kept battling away oh Pickering oh he just tapped it to the line to make sure that a little bit of time is wasted Justin Pickering nine kicks and six handballs top effort this by Richmond it looked at one stage that St Kilda were getting away with them from them at quarter just before quarter time and Richmond have really fought back well. It's a free kick going the way of the Tigers. To Mark Lee, who's battled hard all day. The pick of Justin Pickering sets it up for Gale, who really does mark well, Bruce, out in front. So as his opponent has got no chance of punching the ball away, and he's take, he had a very slow start to the game, but has eventually turned into a very good player. Just 21 years of age. 
one of nine players in this Richmond team who are 21 or under. Well, Brendan Gales kicked one. Of course, his brother plays for Fitzroy Michael. And their father was an outstanding footballer in Tasmania. Now, Brendan Gale from 45 metres, a high drop punt. It's floating. It's another one to the Tigers and they're home. To the eight, Steve Ryan booted four and so too did Michael Mitchell for the Tigers. Stuart Lowe kicked six of St Kilda's 16, 16, 12, 108. And let's check the other games played.